Welcome back, everybody. What are we learning about today? Well, we're learning all about the classic, all right? The classic. Hey, if you were here for the live stream last night, classic, classic, baby. We are learning about the classic. That is what Chris Chan's famous shirt is known as. If this picture will load, this site loads so slowly. While that's loading, let me show you. Some of you know, I actually got a classic myself off of eBay recently and it got here smelling like smelling like cigarettes and cats or cats shout out to the way Christian says cats but now it smells kind of like me so I washed it about 10 times oh yeah that's that smell oh god hold on let me smell that again mm, hell yeah big shaman smells good baby all right hey what are we doing here it's not gonna load is it okay it's not screw it Let's just get started. You like that little flick of the wrist? That's that. Hell yeah. It was either learning about the classic today, or we were going to be learning about Chris Chan's guitar, or his, uh, yep, I'm on TV DVD. So do me a favor. Do old shaman a solid. A solid. <laughs> and let me know in the comments if you want to see the next one, if you want it to be on the guitar, or the yep, I'm on TV DVD. Okay, and then tomorrow, whatever you guys vote on, we'll, we'll do. Uh, oh, hey, our picture loaded here. Our picture loaded. So that's a picture of Christian in the classic, the classic shirt. And this picture, this just is worth a thousand words. I would say it's worth a thousand words, but no, this picture is worth a million words. Look at all of those Legos. I want to analyze this right now, but it would probably take me 10 minutes. So what we're going to do is dedicate an entire video to analyzing this picture. How about that? We're going to talk about all of these Lego sets. We're going to we're going to find a this is a, my little pony over here. Got a drawing over there. Got all kinds of stuff. Got the sign Chu medallion, of course. I can't tell you. I love Chris Chan, dude. I know some of you guys don't like Chris Chan. I love Chris Chan. I love Chris Chan. This is cool to me. This is fascinating to me. I just I like stuff like this. I'm a minimalist now, but I used to love collecting things like not Legos, but I used to kind of be a hoarder myself, but I'm not anymore. Now I'm a minimalist and I throw something away every day. This morning I threw away a hairbrush. I kind of don't need it anymore. I threw away uh, some other stuff. All right, let's get going. An old cologne I'm never going to wear. Let's, let's rock and roll. Let's do this. How about an intro? Huh? <clears throat> the classic. I have just dug through the dirty half of those bags, more than 10 or 20 of them. Then in a bag of damp ones, I found the shirt. Chris on the shirt, nonchalantly revealing Barb has hoarded, tw hoarded 20 bags of old clothes without even bothering to dry them off. That's not good, dude. Hey, by the way, we got some new subscribers. I forgot to say hi to you guys. Detective Fatweed, uh, Dr Drago, Drago, what's up, Drago, and Nikos. What's up, you guys? Welcome aboard Starship Lockjaw, where we look at interesting stuff every day. Every day, baby. All right, what are we... That's disgusting. They were hoarding bags of clothes. 20 bags of old clothes without even drying them off. That's disgusting. God. All right, let's, let's, let's rock and roll here. The classic is a red and blue, seemingly Ralph Lauren brand rugby shirt, formerly worn by Chris from at least before December of 20, 2004 to when he became a top girl. And it was seemingly lost in 2014. Uh, to, to, to the destruction of Chris's house. That was the big house fire. It, has sur it had survived at the bottom of a soaked and grimy garbage bag full of clothing. Prompted by the financial crisis, Chris went searching for it in April of 2017, hoping to sell it to a fan, although no such sale came to pass. It is presumably still in Chris's ownership as of 2017. All right. So hold on here, because here it says 10 years later. This is the picture of Christine Chandler wearing the shirt recently. But it must be a different shirt because the classic, as you guys are going to see, the classic itself, as the original, is, is just absolutely deteriorated. It was in a bag full of wet clothes. But it's nice to see that Christine now has a brand new um, classic. I wonder if she ordered hers off of eBay too. It's just too hot to wear this now. I bought it and I can't even wear it, man. I live in Texas. It's getting hot. My electric bill from my one-bedroom apartment was over $100 this month. God. 
I keep it on like 76. I don't even turn that down. I leave it on 76. Now let's rock and roll here. What are we doing? History. The earliest known instance of Chris wearing the classic is in the All I Want for Christmas is a Pretty Girlfriend clip. God, I can't wait to see that. Filmed on 20th of December 2004. The shirt made many more appearances between 2005 and 2009. Chris wore it on in February of 2007 during a Christian Western Chandler Future Message, the first video he uploaded to YouTube. Ooh, the first video he uploaded to YouTube? Oh man, we gotta look at all this stuff. It's endless, it's endless stuff to entertainment. Endless. Christian has provided all of this stuff to the world, to us, to the internet. Endless entertainment. And you got people like me who sit here talking about it. More entertainment. All right, let's 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 keep going. What are we doing here? Oh, look. Look, I just noticed you were over there. You've been over there this whole time, haven't you? Hey, shaman. Get out of here. You're, we'll talk later. Okay. <sighs> I saw his hand sticking out. That wasn't even planned. That was totally unplanned. It was. All right. Yeah, no shit, it was unplanned. It's kind of stupid, wasn't it? Let's keep going. The shirt made its last appearance of the classic Krish era in uh, November of 2009 when he filmed CWC, Personal Sonichu Presentation. Hmm, that sounds interesting. In January of 2014, uh, oh, that was when the house fire occurred. Yes, the horrible house fire. The shirt was thought lost by both Chris and his fans until April of 2017. When it was found in a bag of laundry that was still damp from the water used to put the fire out. Oh, wow. Wow. Be glad I found it. Chris. Oh, yeah, here's a picture of the shirt. The classic. Post-fire. Oh, wow. Oh, the poor classic, dude. Look at the classic. Yeah. No, maybe, maybe that is the same one that Christine was wearing. Maybe that is the same one. Maybe she just washed it, washed it, perhaps. I think I think she might have just washed it. Huh? What do you guys think? Is that a new one that Christine's wearing there, or is it the same one? I don't know. Uh, following the house fire and subsequent renovation, the Chandlers moved back into their old house. Naturally, Barb insisted on bringing the hoard back into the house, even the portions ruined by the fire or the efforts to extinguish it. The laundry room became a dumping ground for a mountain pile of trash bags filled with water-damaged clothing. The trash bags festered for three years. In April of 2017, when Chris sifted through them in his quest to find the classic, the contents were laced with mold. Chris, being naive, failed to realize the health risks. I'll probably never have another cold or something. I'll probably have another cold or something. My throat felt the familiar scratching after going through those bags. A few of them had wet dirt and wall lining in them. Dang house fires. It's like cat litter. After finding the classic, and inspired by the successful sale of the Sonic Totem Relic for $1,500 two weeks before. Hey look, I don't care who you are. When you're selling your personal items, your personal relics for $1,500 on the internet? I gotta pound it for that shit. That is cool. That is cool. I've got a Lorne mask I could probably sell for some money, but I'm not gonna sell that. I'm gonna keep my Lorne mask. I mean, how many people can sell their items, their personal items, for that much money online? That's cool. I hand it to you. My hat, is my hat on? Hell no, it's off to you, baby. He listed the shirt on eBay for $12,000 minimum on 19th of April. $12,000 minimum? I mean, I'm sure that there are some people out there that would pay that. But wow, $12,000 for that shirt, brother? Hey, I'm not knocking you. Charge what you're worth, baby. Undercharging is a big problem for people nowadays. They charge undercharge. That's kind of like me when I only charge people $20 to do their voiceovers. It's on bayshaman.com slash voiceover. Like that plug? Yeah. All right, where are we at here? He immediately snapped a photo of it, then posted it for the listing, not realizing that the mold growth evident in the picture would not help with sales. Hmm. He later washed it and posted a new photo to eBay, 
replacing the original one. Ooh, is this the picture of it? Oh, wow. Let's try to pull it up. I'll, I'll open it in another tab. We'll see if it'll load. The same shirt after being washed. The holes and other damages allegedly will be fixed using the funds raised from the sale, according to Chris. Hmm. Man. Later, he recorded live game stream, C-Log, the shirt to promote it. Oh, we'll have to check that out. Donning the shirt for the first time in three years, having worn it in 2009, CWC personal science presentation. Three days later, the auction ended at $25,100, but the winning bidder did not pay. Damn. I thought you were going to get that 25 G's, baby. Yeah, that's unfortunately. It's unfortunate that he didn't get that 25 G's for that shirt. Humorously, Chris fails to realize that $25,000 is a gross overestimate of how much money would be required to repair a piece of clothing, even those affected by water damage. Yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is. Here's our picture. It looks like it loaded. Yeah, here's the big picture. Yeah, that sure it's damaged, man. It's a little damaged. It's a little damaged. It's still the classic, though. It's still the classic, baby. I like it. I like it. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, restoration effort beyond help. Multiple tailors and cleaners upon seeing the shirt, according to Chris. Well, they said it was beyond help. Could any of you haters sew any better? The hole was large. I sewed as good as possible. Then I reinforced the ladder with the patch covers. If anything, this, is, this not only keeps it as iconic, but marks it as another masterpiece from myself, making it worth more. Chris, April 2, 2017, on his effort to restore the shirt. Oh, here we go. Here's his effort to restore the shirt. I'm going to blow that up in a second. Chris began an effort to restore the shirt in April 2017. The shirt had sustained large tears as a result of neglect. He asked several professional tailors to repair it. However, they turned down the job as being too difficult. Undeterred, Chris set out to fix it himself. That's perseverance, baby. I pound it for that perseverance. He recorded 90 minutes of him sewing up the shirt and posted several before and after photos to Twitter. A masterpiece. Note the poorly color matched stitching on the arm, with the white thread not fitting the faded white stripes on the shirt at all. Ah, that's true. That's, that's true, isn't it? Yeah, I pulled it up here, but it's taken a while to load. But yeah, you can see the white right there is... Well, wait, it'll load in a second. A commentator on Kiwi Farms noted the issues with the project. Let's talk about it. Incorrect type of needle. Did he use the incorrect type? Oh, okay. In the video, he must have shown it. Patches, which are incompatible with the shirt. Not trying to color match the new thread with the shirt's colors. Not taking measures to prevent frays or shrinkage. Not applying, not applying the patching to the inside of the shirt. Okay, our picture loaded here. Let's take a look at it. That's, uh... Now hold on though, because this patch right here, it, it, I, I didn't notice that uh, upon first seeing. Oh, it's probably because we were up here. Okay, yeah, but this big patch right here, that was a... Uh... Okay, it's, it's no, it's a no-go. Yeah, it's uh... That's, that's a no-go. That's uh... Yeah, that's... I mean, hey, A plus for effort, baby. A plus for effort. Um, might want to watch some more sewing uh, tutorials or something. B better than me. Actually, not better than me. I used to sew hacky sacks when I was in high school. Side hustle, baby. Um, okay. Continuing. After a few hours of work, Chris declared his effort a masterpiece and said the classic is worth more because of it. At the time of that statement, he believed he had already made a sale on it for $25,100. On May 4th, after five days of work, Chris completed the restoration. He signed it using his, uh, using the name Christine. He celebrated the job by wearing it in public. Ah, so that's, so those were the pictures we were looking at. 
Okay, I'm gonna load all three of these. They're gonna take a while because this website is slow. Who can tell me? Why is this website so slow, you guys? Who can tell me why sonandchew.com, why the quickie, is so slow? Where is it hosted? Do you guys need to switch it to another host or something? What, what's going on here, baby? I use Bluehost. I've got a link in my description. If you want to start your own website, use Bluehost. Use my link and you get you get 10% off. I get a little something something in return. Hey, baby. Check out my description. I've got lots of links down there. I've also got a link to all the equipment I use, everything. You want any of that? Go to my links, baby. Oh, yeah. Right, we're, hey, we've come to the end. It looks like we're at the end. If these pictures will load, I would love for these pictures to load so we can look at them. But they're not because it's so slow. So with that having... Oh, no, that's when we already got. Okay, you guys, like I said in the beginning, let me know what you want to see tomorrow. Oh, hey, they're finally loading. Okay, there we go. We already saw that one. And there's the classic. Okay. That, okay. All right. And then this one, of course. That's the complete picture there. All right. Not bad, huh? All right, you guys, I'm out. Thumbs up before you leave. Thank you. Dang, you hear the sirens, breath? They're out of here, scuff. Skrr, skrr. Hey. Come on and get you some lockjaw. Yink, 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 shitting lockjaw, brother, tra. Lockjaw, brother, tra. Lockjaw, brother, tra. Service your daddy, get you some lockjaw. Tra, 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 tra. Yink, 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 yink.